Penny was born in Canberra in November 1971. Her father, Michael, was a major influence on her photographic interest and skills, being a capable photographer himself. Penny picked up one of his cameras at age seven, and that was that. Earlier, Michael had taken this photo of Penny, and he took this one of her feeding the birds in Rome at age four. When she was five and older, she was still showing her love of birds. And that persisted, like her love of animals generally. She was curious about nature, as this photo taken in northern New South Wales shows. Her mother's in the middle. When she was young, she also loved dogs. This earlier photo was with Gus, the dog of her auntie Di. Now, I first met the wonderful Penny when she was six and a half. She lived with her mother and me. She was already going to the AME school in Canberra, an alternative school, which she lasted until she was about 10. She always had an artistic streak, and she was an active child. She liked to ride her bike, or just hang around. At that time, she was about eight. And this photo is from a bit later. When she was 11, her brother Nick was born. Although she was initially trepidatious, she loved him a lot, and vice versa. Here they are together beside the harbour. This is a bit later. Before that, you can see her second from the right in this photo, when Carrie Brander's family, not a small one, came to visit in Canberra. Carrie was Penny's second cousin. Here they are years later. Here's Penny with Carrie's baby, Misha. Penny was an accomplished child hula hooper. As a teenager, she became a passable Madonna impersonator in many guises. She also lived with us for a year in Sydney when she was 18 and Nick was 7. She then lived on her own or shared with other people or dogs. Much later, like about 12 years ago, she was the wedding photographer when Gina and I married. And this photo was taken about four years later. The following year, she jumped off Auckland Sky Tower while Jean and I bravely watched and photographed her. She lived life to the full. The last time I saw her was in Canberra on her 48th birthday. This was taken during interval at a Katie Noonan show at the Canberra Theatre the night before. Katie was later very sorry to hear of Penny's passing. And that photo was sadly reminiscent of this one, of Penny and her maternal grandfather, who was confined to a wheelchair by a seemingly similar disease when she was young. This shot, I think, was taken a couple of years ago in Canada, with that characteristic camera in her hand. And with that camera, she wove magic.